Hi there, welcome you to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to color grade your photos inside uh, Adobe Lightroom. Um, this specific uh, tutorial will be addressed to Adobe CC user to uh, up-to-date version, version of Lightroom CC and for this moment it's um lightroom cc i believe uh, it's um 8.1 so latest and greatest uh version of lightroom cc uh and this applies to all 8.0 version as well something right uh, something um, in this uh, in this area so uh, let's get started roll that intro okay so um, basically uh, I will try to uh, navigate you to through this uh, right hand side panel where in mm, development module uh, you have uh, places where you can tweak your colors in um, in light so the first mm, and most obvious uh, place is uh, mm, white balance and this is the place where you can change your white balance uh, from very warm to chi cool or uh, chilly kind of look and you can play with temperature between blue and yellow and your tint between green and magenta so these two sliders will be uh, quite handy you can uh, if you have some uh, metadata in, in your photos you can choose between uh, different style that camera allows you to to choose if you shoot your shooting in a uh, raw uh, I'm try I try to uh, shoot um, in auto mode and most of the time but if you are shooting um, in raw it doesn't even matter because uh, you can change this after uh, you transfer your photos to um to your computer sorry about that do not disturb mode is on okay so uh what i like to do is to find some white spot on the on the image click with eyedropper and uh it will uh, take a sample from this pixel and try to adjust the white to the whitest level possible so this is the more uh, most natural um, kind of look to the white balance and you can see um, this is the the, the result um, next what I like to do is to go to uh, this uh, this place it's a color profile and I have um, Adobe color um, set um, on default but if you click on this uh, tile icon uh, this will bring you uh, the whole menu with different color profiles that Adobe uh, allows you to, to choose from and for this manner I will try to show you uh, what the difference are uh, as you can see, you can hover uh, over this uh, uh, preset, uh, and you you will see a live uh, preview of this this preset. And this uh, this is important. This is only changing the profile color profile of the image. And if you click like something like uh, Adobe Landscape and choose to close nothing here is moved so it, it it hasn't played 
with HSL, this is untouched. So you can choose freely without uh, changing uh, any settings of your photo. Uh, I like these uh, artistic ones as well, so you can you can choose different vibes to the photo. Uh, of course, you have to have decent amount of uh, craft uh, to be put uh, into your photo uh, on the um, capture capturing it uh, level. So the the exposure has to be uh, at least at okay level uh, to to be fully taking advantage of this this step right here uh, because if you you weigh off your exposure either way uh, it will be uh, quite difficult but if you are shooting in raw uh, keep in mind that you can tweak your photo on the sliders uh, with exposure and highlights and shadows and then go right here because uh, these presets do not change the values that you put in your sliders in development module so uh, so this is uh, quite safe to play with uh, on the other side with this uh, these presets on the left hand side uh, uh, they are intrusive with uh, this slider so uh, if you click something right here that will change the sliders on the right hand side um, okay let's go to modern I don't know I'll choose something right no I want something vivid with color so vintage will be not quite nice right here um uh, protesting not this vivid or uh, okay i think the adobe vivid is a uh, nice uh has nice flavor to it and then we mm, get the the shadows uh bring bring down uh, so we have to cover it uh, something right here okay and this is this is quite nice the second place that I will go uh, for the color adjustment uh, is uh, uh, HSL so hue saturation uh, luminance and I will try to set this for all and the, here you can truly color grade your image you can play you can play with every single color on your uh, on your photo as you can see the reds are now orange and now it's more pinkish kind of style uh, if you don't know how to define the color that you want to to change uh, you can just take this sample picker and change the the color range so you, as you can see the orange uh, the orange are changing as well as red so if I get crazy with this I have some kind of greenish looking skin and the um, uh, headset is uh, more towards uh, between something between orange and yellow right now and this side I have uh, pink face uh, uh, one more tip uh, for you is when you want to set the slider exactly at zero uh, you can double tap on the on the label and this is uh, this is gonna be uh, zeroed plane zeroed uh, on the middle uh, you can play with saturation on every other color you can take off the saturation and set it on uh, set uh, take off the saturation and put it back right back on and this uh, this place and 
this is the luminance so you can choose to uh, brighten up some colors and darken up the others so uh, to achieve some kind of effect that you want so I will leave this uh, as it is and the next place that I will would go that I would go uh, is split toning toning and this is more like uh, color grading um, in video so you can play with highlights and shadows by changing the hue and saturation uh, of this area and uh, I will demonstrate to you, uh, demonstrate for you uh, kind of like I like to start with uh, with this uh, this slide is because uh, it might be tricky uh, uh, at the beginning so uh, for example if you try to change the hue of the highlight you will see that nothing happens it's totally zero response and you have this gray gray bar right here and this bar represents the saturation so if it's gray I believe it's 50% gray that means that saturation is zero so the saturation of this uh, highlight uh, hue is also zero so it's invisible uh, so what I like to do is to put saturation on some uh, some place uh, on some level around halfway through the slider to have the base color as you can see the bar change uh, changes the uh, uh, color uh, right away and now with this hue slider you can change the hue of this color to get the look that you want uh, and as you can see we swipe right here and we change the colors uh, right away so I will leave this right about here this orangey yellowish kind of place and bring down the saturation because we don't want that much of this this color and now we can go to shadows and once again I will bump bumped up the saturation and now I will choose to choose the color that I want in the shadows and I will go to something around teal kind of look yeah right here I will drop down the saturation to the point that I have more of a slide maybe okay something right around here and here we go to the orange more orange oh, not too far okay so we will put this up a little bit and this is the kind of teal and orange uh, situation going on on this photo some cinematic look and now we have this uh, balance uh, slider in the middle and you can choose between dark hue and saturation that will uh, shut down all the orange highlight or on the opposite we will do the more orangey less tilly kind of look to the warm side of this photo and I will just put in this right here and this is the look that I'm I'm into okay so this is the basic color correction that I will I will choose to to do and to uh, do the um, full um, development I will to the profile corrections and let's shut this down and I will bump up some contrast not too crazy bring down the highlights a little bit not so much I 
think around here, maybe some exposure overall Let's see okay I think I think it's uh, it's quite nice right right there and here we go uh, here we have the color correction color gradient if you will uh, um, of the photo inside Lightroom CC um, I think it's uh, it's quite uh, nice to have these places to uh, treat the photo in different uh, different ways with different approach uh, especially if you're starting to uh, experiment with colors in your photos uh, this is uh, this is the place where you can start and to experiment with this um, uh, the sliders and try to uh, develop your own style uh, into into this this process and uh, along the way you will uh, have your own uh, procedure I just showed you that what what my process looks like so I'm on this side that I will I like to start with uh, white balance to set uh, set it on the spot uh, to get more of a natural look of this photo I try to not to start with some crazy white balance and then uh, walk around with other colors uh, but you can start with white balance way off in this artistic way of doing things and then tweak uh, some uh, things in uh, tone curve adjustment uh, tab or uh, HSL or split toning or even with uh, uh, profiles uh, after you get this your get the, your touch on white balance uh, in the beginning or you can tweak the white balance at the end as well because if you if you just look at this photo right here I have all the creativity uh, just back on on spot I have all the flexibility that I need so keep that in mind and remember the photo needs to be representing your style do not uh, go uh, to this route that uh, you try to please someone on the internet or uh, on the Instagram to get more views get more clicks uh, you have to be your own uh, hardest critic and your biggest fan so just make something that you are proud of and just put it out there you will find some uh, positive feedback uh, so keep that in mind and if you like this video please hit the hit the like button <laughs> If you like this video please hit the like button if you loved it just smash the subscribe button and turn on uh, the notification bell uh, right uh, right there and if you have some uh, tips and tricks uh, to this topic please do leave them in the comment section down below as always I will try to get a, to, I will try to uh, address uh, all your comments and questions and if you have suggestions to uh, for me to add something to this topic leave them uh, in the comment section uh, as well and I will try to make another video uh, on this topic so that's it for now I will see you in the next one bye